And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Mage Seekers. Let's bring this deck back. This is definitely my kind of control deck. You know, we've got uh, Remembrance on turn three is what our deck's all about. But, you know, we have like these cool Mage Seeker cards, the Inciter, the Investigator, the Persuader. And, uh, you know, we have like this awesome top end. Lux is a fun card to play. It's a really good card. Uh, but then we have Lux with Rekindler. Like, that's just a great combo, of course. Um, also, Rekindler, very good with Thresh and Callista. Of course, you know, if you have a leveled up Callista, bringing back Rekindlers, that's a great combo. Bunch of good stuff here. A whole lot of power. We have an Unyielding Spirit for when we need that. We have a Ruination for when we need that. Um, some back-to-back. -back. So we got some combat tricks in here. Um, just a cool deck. Single combat for our removal. So I like it. And, you know, we even got like, we got some some small ball stuff here with the Fleet Feather Tracker Bright Seal Protector cards uh, to help us not get run over. So let's go. Let's play some Spooky Mage Seekers. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. I, I used to play Magic, I don't anymore. Used to. But this game came out, started playing this, and have switched over. So I feel against Vi, Lux, Heimerdinger, Ruination's probably actually going to be really good against Vi, Lux, Heimerdinger, to be honest. Like those are some super powerful uh, champions that if they kind of like get like two of the champions out, Ruination would be awesome. I, I don't know. I, I don't know the best Ezreal deck. I've, I don't play... Ezreal's kind of like... like I, I'm not very good at Ezreal decks myself. Um, I, I feel like they're not... Yeah, I'm not the best at them. My favorite Ezreal deck. My two favorite Ezreal decks are either Twisted Ezreal or Starlit Ezreal. It's been a little bit since I've played either of those decks, but there's the Twisted one and the Starlit one. If you just want like some, some different Ezreal decks to, to take a look at. Besides your generic ones. Ant-Man! Thanks for that seven-month resub. Thank you, Ant-Man. Yeah, half mirror. We got the Demacia half mirror. Will you comply, or are you complacent? Root them out. But then they're going P and Z, hybriding or Vi. Hey Shade. Entropy, a never ending cycle. Get him, Thresh. Get him. My most round breaking invention to date. <laughs> oh, dang. So, Mage Seeker deck last night had two detains and a Purify. They detained two. 
of your Hecarums and then purified the thing that detained them. Yuck. Yeah, that's... That means they gone for good. They gone for good. So give this a try. See what happens. So I'm probably gonna need probably gonna need to cast this ruination <coughs> to deal with Heimerdinger. Now that, make, that makes my unyielding spirit plan really bad. I was considering going to Tain and then unyielding spirit to protect it, but you know, thinking that they wouldn't be able to kill it, but I guess they got their own to Tain. That makes that plan very poor. I don't know. Okay, maybe I should just be waiting for ruination. It's smaller than a diagram. Surprised they would attack there and help out my Thresh. Suspicious. All right, level up, Lux. Thresh is at four out of six. Yeah, basically my my unyielding spirit's kind of unplayable right now because of the chain. If I unyielding spirit something, they just detain it. And then sure I can detain it back. But Yeah, it doesn't work that well. Still have six mana. Still a back to back available. This levels up Thresh. So I have what? One Callista, two Lux. As far as putting a random champion in play.
Not a crazy game. Kinda a crazy game. I guess the problem with back-to-back -back is like if we kill all their things then our final sparks don't actually do stuff if they don't have anything out if we kill all their stuff okay I'm gonna let that happen I can let that happen Seems pretty good for me. Oh no, I shouldn't have done the thrash. No, I should have done I should have done this thing. I shouldn't have done thrash. I've been hiding my light too long. Because I need I need Lux to stay alive. Right. Because I need to final spark kill Lux. Right, no, I I messed up. I shouldn't have done the thrash. Whoops. Should have kept that alive and then Final Spark killed it. Get some overwhelm damage and then overwhelm Final Spark killed this thing. Whoops, I messed it up. I got too excited. So I should have won this turn. Um, good news still. Actually no, because I, I would have only they would have been down to one, right? It would have dealt two two extra damage. So okay, so now they they would have gone to one. So never mind, it would have been a win. Mages can hide from me. Hmm. Thresh can't uh, put another Lux into play, you know, like it, it's already did its thing. So, oh well, that's fine. No. Alright, GG's. Why am I am like way off the screen? Nobody told me. I'm like sitting way off the screen. Let me let me move my chair over. There we go. That's better. All right, gotta win. No, this is what I do full time. Jugger rap. I, I'm a streamer. So we got Karma, Ezreal, Lee Sin. Let's see. Pretty slow hand. Good to mulligan. Let's. Find this remembrance. Ooh, 
did not find Remembrance. Um... I don't think we need to play this stuff early. The spirit gives to those who listen. Hmm. It is time. Alright, remember it. Darn. You can either go Tracker plus Protector or Callista. I'll try Callista and save this combo for a little bit. Not so bad. Got a mystic shot and a get excited out of their hand for my Callista. Not a bad trade. I just don't want to play the Mage Seeker Persuader yet. I want to wait on that until we have... Yeah, I definitely just want to wait on the Mage Seeker Persuader until we have um, this ability ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to have the, my 3-2 fight here, where so they just, I guess they get one trigger. I guess it's just one less Ezreal trigger. I don't think it would be two less Ezreal triggers, it's just one less. Never mind, that was, that was a bad single combat. Yeah, that was, alright, that was me being too hasty, I should have thought about that a little more. Um, no, yeah, Withering Whale is not... Is honestly not that great in this metagame. Like, there's just one in there just in case, but no, it's not, it's not anything special in this metagame right now. It's, it's a card that it's frequently gets stuck in hand. There's not a lot of one health things running around. And even against, yeah, like Demacia, like, it's not it's not a very good card against Demacia. Like, they, it doesn't kill hardly anything. Like, it just kills Fleet Feather Tracker, nothing else. And. Uh, they can, um, and you know, like, even if you, like, do, like, a little bit of damage with Withering Will, then they play Bannerman. Uh, that can be pretty rough. We each hold a world within. Everywhere I go, the light follows. All right, save single combat for the champions. That's what I should have done previously. That's what I'm going to do this time. Is save single combat for champions. That gives them seven out of eight for Ezreal. I don't love that.
basically like with like with this deck single combat is just like a, a lot better removal spell than than it oh, it's only been it's only four out of six it's not five mm, can't level it up So yeah, like there's no grasp in here, just one withering whale. Yeah, you know, we're just playing like single combats and vengeances, ruination. Those are more reliable removal spells. Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia is nothing like what I know. Breathe in, breathe out. The most consistent Vladimir deck? Probably the, the Vladimir deck we were playing earlier. I like that deck a lot. Sure, we went 1 4, but. but I mean, doesn't necessarily. Like, just a five game set doesn't necessarily mean the deck's bad. And, uh, you know, th these games are so close. No, I, I like that one. Um, you know, the other Vladimir deck I've been playing is the tough Vladimir Swain. That one's good at two, but I think that the as far as the consistency, I think the Sejuani deck's more consistent. Where there is life, there is hope. With a barrier, huh? I basically don't want vengeance to get denied, but I can't I can't keep it from getting denied. But it's the only six plus mana spell in my hand. Alright, no deny. That's pretty important. Now Persuader is turned on. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. All right, so what I'm worried about with casting the final spark is that then they just play Ezreal and then attack with Ezreal. So they do have single combat still if they have Ezreal. What am I doing? Now it's this thing. Play so yeah, even if they do have Ezreal out of single combat. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Possibly I should have just passed turn and just gone to the next turn. Watch and learn. So no deny or will of Ionia mana anymore. Could still have twin disciplines. All right, so the gotcha means they get the two one from the eye of the dragon. No way. What is gained when he returned malevolence? Return 
to us. Oh, that brings Callista back, not Thresh. I was thinking we were bringing Thresh back. I forgot about Callista from turn three. Forgot about Callista. Stand and you can't outrun justice. Strike for justice. My light freedoms. Do I let them twin disciplines kill Lux? Probably not. Let's see if they if they block Lux and have twin disciplines to give plus three to kill Lux. Then they have to block like here. They take. Um, let's see, that would be this first, of course. They would take 5, 9, 10, so yeah, they, they, would, they would stay alive. Especially they would gain life from this thing. Probably not worth it to risk Lux. I don't know, if they're, if they're doing that, they're not really playing a champion. Whatever the cost. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. Um, actually, no, we, we did hit that. Uh, no, I didn't update that. We, we did get enough. No, we, we hit that sub goal on Monday, I believe. For the, the 10 hour stream. Rain from a cloudless sky. So no, actually, actually, that's not update. No, so we we do have enough for a ten hour stream. Um, so they're passing. We've killed one Karma and one Ezreal so far. That's a second Karma. Whoa, Shade! That is super nice. Oh my gosh, y'all get some hype in the channel. We're gonna have some hype boats pop up here for a little while. As Shade just gifted out 10 subs, that is awesome. So let's take that. So we're two sub goals towards the next 10 hour stream. Whenever we get to that. And Matthew also getting the resub in here. Let's see. Should we detain? Should we detain this karma? Kind of feel like we should. They use removal on my 3-3, and then I get to play a new Radiant Guardian. But maybe that's just unnecessary, maybe we should have waited. Sure. That's the best removal spell for me to see. Get to replay this thing, make a new Detain. So I need to have the Detain available for um, for they go life steal barrier, right? Illuminate the enemy. Hmm. Into battle with hearts aglow. Come to the light. Death treachery ends now. You have no alibi. Thank you, Shade. So yeah, so new subs, we got Sonica Boom, Ancillion, Langu, uh, Jajaro, Sabana Hooting, Frosty Crocs, Chibra, Lemon, 
Gojiro and Zero there. That was super nice. Thanks, Shade. All right, so our opponent's trying to figure out what their game plan is. Nine cards. You lack subtlety. And Matthew giving out two subs to Love and Stacks. Now keep those hype loads going, especially got all these new subs. High boats in the chat. All right, another sub goal. Another sub goal hit. All right, so it looks like their plan is to kill these things. I'm gonna say no. Don't kill these things. And. Then there we go. Negative three. Negative three looks good to me. All right, GG's. Would it help if I apologized? What a game. 2 0. And after our first deck, we are really ranking up. We're up to 300 now. Seven. 11 and 1 in our last 12 games. We're getting there. And yeah, don't forget, after this one, usually we just do the four decks a day. After this one, though, we're not going to be done with the stream. We're going to be playing some Monster Train, a, a brand new um, deck building game. Kind of similar to Slay the Spire, if, if you have played that. But I have, I have not played it before, so it's going to be brand new to me. And so it'll be really fun as we kind of play it, learn it together. It's supposed to be um, supposed to be really good. The reviews are amazing, and uh, it says it's a kind of... People will say that it's a, an addictive game to play. Um, I don't know how long I'll be playing it for. Hey, Abon. Oh, you just played us? GG. GG's, man. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good game. I'm going to get addicted and play it a lot. Maybe, I mean, because I owe y'all a 10-hour stream, so maybe, you know, we'll play it for... Maybe we'll play it for four or five hours if it's great and do that. Or maybe, you know, we may go back to Runeterra afterwards. You know, like maybe we'll play it for a little while and then... Um, and then come back and just play some some ranked Runeterra, uh, you know, that doesn't go up on YouTube and just... Uh, you know, to play play some Rune Tear afterwards and knock out a ten hour stream. Can't be more addictive than Slay the Spire. You never know. Could be. Can't hide from me. Um. <laughs> what's the point of what's the, the point of uh, our game or our deck? Uh, just to be a really, really powerful um, kind of like mid-range control deck, and it's good. We played it. Like five days ago, we went 5-0. Today, we're 2-0 with it. I actually haven't lost with this deck yet. But it's pretty good. I'm stunned. I see you. You have no Alright, start mowing down these spiders. You, um... 
you mulligan pretty hard for remembrance in this deck. Yeah, I definitely, definitely want to mulligan for remembrance. Suspicious attack incoming. Health of our units is two, three, four. Man. Ugh, I want to play Lux, but I also want to play back to back. Everywhere I go, the light I follows. I mean, they just have rem if they just have uh, ruination in this deck, they completely wreck me. Ah, Noxion Guillotine. That's what they were setting up. I don't know what they were setting up there. Noxion Guillotine, that's... My cause is righteous. That makes sense. You can't outrun justice. Yeah, that's bad for me. You have to get me out of here. Great card. Yeah, great card. Noble. Opponent's back in it. like it was um, certainly going to be in my favor, but yeah, that was a great card. Back in it, still looking good for me, though. Fear the power that do not see. Just a second. Be right back. like this Alexa thing in, in my house that just kind of came with you know with the new house I don't know if I like it but yeah just randomly turned on and I just like hear like the radio going or something and I'm just like listening to you I'm like ah, I gotta go turn that off oh the, the pupper just got up the pupper was lying right there okay let's see Not sure how we're really gonna lose this game. Should I unyielding spirit Lux? Or just Vengeance Swain? Problem is if I Vengeance Swain I can't think of anything they have to kill Lux. Like atrocity is it doesn't kill Lux. Do like a little bit of damage and then a noxion guillotine, I guess. Yeah, I, I probably should just be unyielding, shouldn't I? Just to be safe. Ooh. A beacon through the dark. You will be scoured from this land. All right, well, we will unyielding this turn. Create another final spark. Use that final spark to kill this Leviathan. I guess that's how we can lose is stunning. All 
Alright, so this should still overwhelm and do four damage to them. No more holding back. This place reeks of foul. And we can detain Swain. Oh, uh, what did I have die? Thresh? Uh, yeah, I think I had Thresh die. Alright, opponent surrendered. Didn't have much chance. Unyielding plus Luxes. Uh, pretty ridiculous. He generally can't wait for unyielding to be gone. I don't know if it'll ever be gone, but yeah, maybe change some. I don't know. I don't know exactly how they would change it. Five Wind Dream still alive. Do I keep Vengeance for Gangplank now? We'll mulligan it. Burst speed is pretty ridiculous. Because even fast speed you can play in response to like their removal. Then other people can respond to it. Burst speed is pretty ridiculous. Because I mean they don't they don't take out any cards, it, but it, yeah, it could be. Could be changed quite a bit. Ugh. I even... I even challenger? <laughs> if I don't challenger, like, they just pass the turn. I feel like I, like, I, I challenger and, like, kill one of those things, which isn't even great anyway, and then they, like, spend that mana and do something else that's cool. Sithria. Not bad, not bad. That's a card I haven't thought about in a long time. Wow. Um, yeah, I guess, Strike down the guess that happens. Please, I have connections. Ouch. Or played one. Man, they could get some really good cards. For that pilfer goods. I have some great cards. Perfect make it rain. That's why I, I led with the thresh before because of make it rain. Return to us. Yeah, 
Kalidur with the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hey. Thanks thanks for joining in. We are, um... You know, we're playing some spooky Mage Seekers right now. And it's going very well. And then we are going to be playing... Uh, we're going to be trying out the brand new Monster Train um, game, which is the deck building game. That's looking really good. We're going to be trying that out after this. And I, I haven't played it myself, but it has amazing reviews. Similar game to Slay the Spire. And so we're gonna go have some fun with it. Nice, yeah, okay, cool. Been playing mostly Expedition so far. Love it, yeah, it's a great way to build up that collection. Yeah, this game's great. This is probably unnecessary, though. Just take two extra damage. I just don't want to get burned out randomly. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, switching games is, is rough on Twitch for sure. Yeah, I, I switched from Magic over here in February. Yeah, I gotta build a new audience, but yeah, same. <laughs> he said you're so much happier, and yeah, me too. I've just kind of got burned out with Magic after 10 years of playing it all the time. Stop stealing my stuff. Not cool. Not cool. Man, now what am I supposed to do? So play Lux instead of Scythria? Probably not. Main question is if I challenge Twisted Fates or not. If I just let them have their decks with blood. Twisted Fates. Oh no. That can be a problem. That can be a problem. Hmm. Alright, so if you kill you, you kill you. get to create a detain next turn. You can detain with the Thresh protection on that. So Thresh will level up.
Could be an interesting one. Water is mine and mine alone. Oh, the corpses of a mole. The captain's arrived. I just got. I just have to play this detain. Control the mage. To control I can still. I can go to Tain and the box. I just don't really know what the box does. Dry. For me. I guess it gets rid of this powder keg. Off that could be important. This would have everything dying and me going to two. That's probably bad. So we're going to have this capture the, let's capture that thing, and then also cast the box. So yeah, this will get rid of the powder keg. If this works out, like if they don't have any spells, they got the five mana. If they don't have any spells, this will be a great turn for us. You know, basically, they'll be left with the spider and we keep everything. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, everything dies. That was a really good card to have. But we're still looking great. Thresh will bring back Lux. Um, I need a six mana spell to level up Lux. I only got five mana with Withering Whale. Stealing my stuff. Not cool. Let the light guide you. Mm. I wish I had withering whale mana now. My shield is yours. Demacians protect each other. So they need a ruination to get back into it. Which they could be playing their own ruination. They could have stolen my ruination. I sure hope they don't have ruination. But that's what they need to get back in this game. That's a good sign that they're playing more things out. That means that they don't have ruination in hand right now. That's a good sign. Hmm. Persuader isn't turned on. There we go. That's that's a spell. Get up to seven mana. Double level up Lux.
All right, double level up for Lux. Great, two final sparks. Wait, I only created one final spark? That's lame. I didn't know that's how that worked. I, I thought for sure I would have gotten two final sparks, but I guess just one. Huh. By the light. That's weird. Did anybody else ever experienced that before? You can count on me. My shield is yours. No. Okay, so yeah, we only leveled up once even though it was two. Two Luxes is still just one level up. Hmm. No, we don't have room. Protect and strike. Any last words? Yes, you. Won't pass these walls. But just in case they do find a ruination, you know, the, the Thresh stays alive, of course. But I can just save this Rekindler. It, it's not like having a Rekindler and a Callista makes a big difference in play right now. these powder monkeys that are doing damage to me. Can't handle it. Can't handle the, the monkey leaving. And we're 4 no. The superior tactic is to never give up. 13 and 1 in the last 14 games. Alright, back up here. We were at like 900 after our 1 and 4 with Vladimir Sejuani. Now it's a 259. A little hot streak. All right, five win dream. Five win dream, still alive. Yeah, this is Spooky Mage Seeker. We also played this five days ago and went 5 0 with it. So I'm currently 9 0 with this deck. Um, Fiora is a problem. Fiora is a problem. Let's keep on yielding spirit. That seems great against Fiora. Come on, Remembrance. No. Hmm. Worst case scenario is they play Fiora. It's Save your world. standalone. We speak with Dang, I should have just passed again. Strike, should have just passed again. Careless. to Unyielding Spirit the Lux, not the Thresh. Can do 
What am I doing? Why am I playing so fast? I just pass again. They passed. They passed. I should just pass again. Go to my turn. Oh, good. All right. Really hope they don't have their own own unyielding spirit. Just the way I like it. A beacon in battle. For justice and all things bright. No, detain. Can't let that happen. Can't let that happen. Detain, come on. Surrender. Got him. Would it help if I apologized? All right, five and oh. Yeah, the 5010 of spooky mage seekers. Lots of power. Fun one to play too. It's not necessarily easiest, you know, as you saw, you see, if you watch those games, I do a lot of passing. Just because you have like these one one drop, two drop, three drops, you don't just like play these on turn one, turn two very often, unless like you need to if your opponent's being aggressive and you don't have remembrance and you need to play put them out there. Um, otherwise you just hold on to them, just wait. Um, you know, use, you know, double spell with these things later. You know, hopefully you get Remembrance on turn three. But, um, yeah, it's a little early for a 5-0 Friday, but awesome. There we go. Great, great video. GG's. Yeah, maybe Unyielding Spirit could be only followers, not champions. Because, yeah, this card on champions is pretty ridiculous. It's so good on Lux. Like, that's... It's just so good. Um, there's a lot of other cards that are kind of similar to this that, like, do stuff with just followers and not champions. Um, so maybe... Maybe that's a way to nerf Unyielding Spirit. I don't know. But, yeah, it's pretty broken. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. I always love seeing your positive comments over there. Feel free to uh, ask any questions as well. Um, yeah, let me know. I will try to respond to you. That's it here for Spooky Mage Seekers, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. GG's.